everyone. Um, so today in that video, I, I kind of want to um, primarily use it also for myself to 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 um, clarify and clear my own thoughts on on how to organize my digital desktop. Um, because for quite quite a while, I've I've been kind of really struggling on like m moving content around all the time because I didn't really know how do I structure my desktop to just basically kind of get work done. And, and don't constantly try to change the system and, and optimize the system all over, over and again. I mean, it's, it's important to, to optimize and incrementally improve your system, your method, but at the end, you also just want to get work done. So I hope that video also helps me to kind of just get focused now and, and realize how I can just do my work. And um, I mean, Basically, like it started uh, like a while ago, um, a couple of years ago, when I realized, oh, I really want to support open source and the free world. So that's when I switched from Windows um, to Linux. Been like using Arch Linux and and the more hacking uh, Linux distributions for for quite some time. But then like systems, it just it required too much time and and, and effort to to keep them running and, and keep them maintained. And then then I switched to to elementary OS. Um, which is a very nice distribution, but but which had some flaws and which made me kind of switch to um, to its kind of mother distribution, which is um, Ubuntu. That's what you see here. Um, so unlike elementary OS, Ubuntu desktop has still has the feature um, and allows me to put stuff on my desktop. And I've kind of now just realized. Um, what the desktop actually, why it actually is called desktop, because desktop is like like um, like your physical desktop, your desk where you do your work. It's like where you can put your stuff. You know, the stuff you're currently working on should be on your desktop. That's kind of what I'm what I'm kind of trying to do now. So so all what you can see here on my desktop that can be individual files and and project folders. That stuff I just I'm just working on right now. And um, that's important to me, and that's why it's on my desktop. And the desktop folder, if we look into my home folder, so every Linux distribution has a home folder with um, kind of these default folders, such as the desktop, documents, uh, music, pictures, videos. These are, um, according to the free desktop standard, these are just default folders in, in, in the home folder. And um, so the files we've been looking at on the desktop, they are in that desktop folder, and um, what I'm like, what I used to do um, was kind of in order to not lose my data, I I always had a, an external hard drive and I plugged it in and I, I I moved like you know from time to time I I moved stuff to my external hard drive to to have a backup, but then I I've, I'm a person like moving a lot, like traveling a lot. And always having to have my, my, my external hard drive with me was just too much of a hassle. And um, yes, I know all these privacy concerns and I'm aware of the dominance of Google as an incumbent. But still, like Google Drive is a very nice service and I'm currently using it. I, maybe in the future I might switch to, to open source alternatives such as own cloud. But for now, I use Google Drive to sync all my data. So basically what I did for my important folders such as the desktop or the documents or my music or my pictures or my videos. As you can see by these small icons here, by these um, labels, they're symbolic links, symbolic links to my Google Drive. So what I did in my Google Drive, I created these folders such as the documents and inside documents, I have my desktop with all my folders and the, the kind of default home folders, they are just symbolic links linking back to my Google Drive. So that keeps them in sync all the time, um, thanks to the program also called InSync. Um, it's, it's available not only for Linux, but also for Windows and, and, <clears throat> and Mac. Um, and it allows me to just select the folders I want to sync from my Google Drive to my desktop, um, which is a, it's a, it's a very nice app, I must say. Um, oops, open app window, how do I get that close now? Come on, give it away, yeah, so now it's gone. Um, 
so so what I'm what I'm doing now and, and, and I hope to kind of stick to it is whatever I'm working on, put it in desktop, whenever I'm done in my Google Drive, in my documents folder, I have another folder called archives. And that's like, you know, basically everything that is I'm usually I'm I'm generally I'm I'm very unstructured and unorganized person. I have difficulties with it. Um so but in order to, to not lose focus, I just kind of put all the stuff that I don't need right now away from my desktop into that folder called archives. It's a, it's a huge folder of you know all different folders and files. So whenever I'm done with something, I, I put it into archives and intentionally I don't sync my archives with my, with my, des with my desktop. Uh, I just don't like it. I just like it to be in the cloud, to be synced in the cloud, safe in the cloud. Um, but I don't want to kind of interfere with my desktop. Um, so, so that's what I'm, what I'm doing when it comes to files. And I also use Dropbox and GitHub. Generally, I try to use, um, the most prominent services and products that are available just because I don't want at one point to switch over to a new service just because one service closed. That's just too much of an annoyance. I just prefer to keep things as they are and they should not change. So I just use the major services, Google Drive, Dropbox and GitHub. I use GitHub for um, well, collaborative software projects using Git, Git as a versioning tool and then put it on, put the code on GitHub. And, and Dropbox, well, ones for like team folders, um, stuff I'm, I'm working on with colleagues. And, um, and then apps because Dropbox is a very popular um, service thanks to its API for, for different services to use and one of these services is Blot and Blot is a very nice tool I'm just showing it to you right now it's basically it it takes all um, all content of my Dropbox in that folder and so that's the content and transforms it into a website so that's kind of you know that's individual files like cards or Wikipedia. For example, I had an idea on how to use Wikipedia. I put it, I transformed it into a, a, a quick post. And, but the cool thing is it, again, it's a symlink here in my public folder, the public folder symlinks to my Dropbox blog folder. And if you, if you look at it, it's just, it's wikipedia.md. It's a simple plain text file. I can open it in an editor and I, created a permalink slash Wikipedia, added some content and bam, there it goes. It's my own domain slash Wikipedia. Um, so, so generally I try to, to stick to plain text files when, whenever possible, because plain text files are very, you know, they, they're always, they can always be read by any kind of application. It's, it's, it's very simple. Uh, I mean, generally I'm a fan of simplicity. Uh, and, and good organization so I try to kind of make it a very simple system that works for me and um, yeah I think that's what I wanted to show you in that video to, to, <laughs> and I, I, I feel like telling it right now also helps me to, to kind of stick to yes you use Google Drive as your main sync service and you symlink all your important folders into the Google Drive um, you stick to plain text files because they're easy to handle and um, in general, you use open source and free software because you believe that this is contrib yeah, contributory to, to a sustainable world. So thanks for listening and um, there we go with the final riff. Mm -hmm.